All right, hey guys, quick little video here. Uh, Eric was just asking about the APS tracker. So this is one of our RV jets from uh, two years ago. Uh, here is our Dragon Link antenna. For our purposes, we don't need it to be a full dipole. So for when we take the kids out, we're just flying around. You see, I don't have a straw in here to keep this straightened out. Uh, and it's just in there with hot glue. And uh, the reason why it's like that is just so that when it lands, it doesn't break off the antenna uh, on landing. But anyway, coming over here, like I said, this is our uh, test rig, if you will. <clears throat> Dragon Link GPS. We got a key here for uh, a power key. Um, pitot tube for the uh, vector. Uh, we happen to have three cameras on here because we're testing some camera switches. Um, we've got power here to several different things. We've got 5 volt power to APRS and that's actually being tapped right from the vector. Um, we have VTX power, video transfer, uh, video uh, transmitter power that we can run directly from the flight battery through the vector or we can run a separate battery uh, to power the video transmitter. Really happy with the results with powering the video transmitter on a second battery. Uh, we happen to have three cameras on this rig. We got one looking back, we're a uh, Cadix um, run cam, and then we just got a ready-made RC uh, camera from several years ago that we use in the nose. Uh, this rig, we happen to have an 800 milliwatt transmitter on. And then out here, I'm gonna show you something. So I have an APRS transmitter here. This is a APRS transmitter KC9, KC9YMN-1, and if I can get that back on there, there we go. Anyway, and then the one that we have installed here for testing is KC9YMN-10. These little antennas you can buy from um, Bionics. Uh, these are called the V10. Uh, this antenna, it's not really a long-range antenna. Uh, it has about zero gain, I think. Um, it's really just good for our purposes of uh, flying around at the local field and uh, just integrating everything. Uh, but the way we did this, I'll show you up underneath here. There is the APRS unit mounted with a 90-degree SMA, and it's just taped on there just to protect it. But, uh, and it's actually, uh, uh, we have it uh, recessed into the foam slightly. Uh, and then this is the power wire right here. And that runs all the way, I can pull the hatch off here. So let me pull the hatch off, let me unpower this. All right. So that wire runs all the way here to the switch, and then that just uses the five volt tap off of the uh, vector down there. So that's the five volt tap right there, and that's what is powering, that's what's powering the, uh, the uh, transmitter. Um, anyway, in Spaceport, we will switch to the dipole. And like Eric says, uh, kind of hard to do any testing with that dipole on there. That's why we have this one. With this on here, pretend this is mounted like so. And then the dipole will get mounted out there. And really guys, this is just a one-off. Think of it, it's just a one-off. We land this thing, that dipole is going to break. Uh, so it's a one-off. Uh, and these dipoles, those can be bought on the Bionics website. The guy's right here in Chandler. Um, I'd buy a couple just to have them. They're not that expensive. And then buy one of these babies for testing. It's the V10 antenna off the Bionics website. So uh, anyway, guys, I had these all running tonight, um, checking systems. Um, really important when you fire up everything uh make sure you can fire up your APRS before your video transmitter and the reason for this is the GPS antenna on here is very sensitive 1.3 can interfere with it 
So if you initialize the GPS first uh, and you get that lock on, the, uh, on a satellite, you're not gonna have any issues once you turn your video transmitter on. Um, once that lock is made with the, uh, with the GPS, um, you will not lose it. So anyway, that's what I got for you guys tonight. I'll upload this to YouTube here. And uh, like I said, this is just our test rig. We've been flying it, flies great. Um, our uh, airplanes that we're actually using for this are still in the build process. We're gonna hope to maiden those next week. Take it easy, guys.